Hi guys, Dirty Curry here. I wanted to talk to you about regrets and I don't really know where this video is going but I'm hoping it helps a lot of people or at least some people. Recently I've done some things in my life that I'm not very proud of and I regret doing those things. Now, I've heard this thing going around about no regrets and honestly, I, I think it's foolish for people not to have any regrets in life. I think regrets are a good thing because when you regret doing things wrong, you learn not to do those things in the future, or at least hopefully you do. Hopefully you're not just repeating the same mistakes over and over again. So regrets are good because they can help make you a better man. There is no person in the world who's perfect. There's no person in the world who's never messed up, never screwed up. We all have failures in life. And if we have enough self-reflection and insight to realize when we've messed up and we're manly enough to go apologize to those people that we hurt and to make changes in our life so that we make sure we don't ever do that again, then we can really improve our lives. You think about somebody who doesn't have a lot of good self-reflection, can't even recognize when they've made mistakes. I mean, we all know people like that. They're arrogant, kind of jerks a lot of times. They just think they're all that, right? Like they're better than everybody else. And we know they're not. They just don't have enough self-insight to recognize their own failures. So, Having that self-reflection, I think it keeps you humble. I think it makes you a better person, gives you better relationships. I had a neighbor of mine, and he went through the Delta Force selection process. And as he was going through that selection process, he passed all of the requirements to go through. He did his ruck in time and did lab nav, and it just everything was perfect. He, he just passed everything. But when they did an evaluation, they brought in three of the DIs in and he was sitting there by himself with three people in front of him. And they told him, they said, look, they said, nothing's going to leave this room, but we just want you to reflect and tell us about some things that you feel like you may have done that were morally wrong. Even if they were right, even if somebody asked you to do it, if you just feel like it was morally wrong, just tell us about those situations. And he pondered for a while and he told them, he said, you know, there's, there's nothing I can think of that I've ever done that was morally wrong. And they said, well, anything like speeding, running red lights or stop signs or something, just anything. What can you think of? And he thought for a little while longer. It's like nothing. It's like, I don't speed. I don't run red lights. Nothing. I've never done anything morally wrong I can think of. And ultimately, he did not get selected for Delta Force because what they determined was he did not have enough self-reflection to find areas where he needed to improve. And you know, it's really important because after any mission, you're going to go through and review uh, the mission and what went wrong and try to find areas where you need more training or need to improve. And look, I'm not special forces. I've never been in the military. I'm not claiming anything like that. All I'm trying to say is people who are in those roles, in the special forces roles, they have, they are held to the highest standards possible. And one of those standards is self-reflection. You have to be able to reflect upon the things that you've done wrong so that you can improve and get better. And if you're not able to do that, you're going to struggle finding success in life. And that is true in our personal lives as well. We have to be able to recognize when we've done something wrong. And this helps improve relationships as well. You know, if you're dealing with a coworker and, and you said something wrong to them, or maybe you said it in a kind of a mean way, you got frustrated with them or something, or, you know, sometimes you just to your spouse. It's very, very important that you recognize that you were in the wrong, that you go to them, that you apologize, 
that you try to make things right and that you change and you don't do that again in the future. You think about the people in your lives that have harmed us, that don't change and they just continue their attitude. Naturally, we're going to avoid those people because we don't want to get harmed. And it hurts relationships and can even end relationships in some cases. But the person that harms us and then they're able to come back and they're able to say, look, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, I screwed up, I won't do it again. We tend to have a lot more respect for those people, a lot more patience for those people, and the relationships stick around. And this is so important to do with your relationships with your friends, your coworkers, your spouse. It is so important to be able to recognize when you messed up and to have those regrets, to regret the things that you've done wrong so that you can change and you can get better. So for anybody that's going through that where you've messed up, you realize you screwed up, you're not really sure what to do. Like I said, I've messed up recently and first you've got to admit that you've screwed up. You've got to make it right for those people that you harmed. And yeah, especially if they don't know about it, it's going to hurt. It's really going to hurt them. But it has to get done in order to move past the relationship and to, to fix the relationship and to get better. Because if you don't, they're going to find out some other way. You're not going to keep these things secret. Like the Bible says, the things that are done in secret will eventually be shattered from the rooftops. Everything you think you're doing in secret will eventually be made known. So it's far better just to fess up now to those things that you regret doing and to make it right now rather than waiting and having somebody you really care about find out from somebody else. So you just got to man up. You got to be humble. You've got to take those things that you regret doing and you've got to fix them and make them right. And it's hard and you got to go through those hard times, but it's worth it. You know, there was a time in my life I had a gambling addiction and I struggled a lot with that. And I lost a lot of money. I lost a lot of money that was supposed to be for my uh, wife and I. And admitting that to her, she was hurt by it. She absolutely was. She left. But through it all, because I worked on it, because I changed, because I stopped doing that, you know, we were able to get together, mend the relationship, and move on. And it was hard, but we did it. And if I had had that mindset of not being able to reflect, not being able to realize I was in the wrong, she still would have found out. But I don't know if we still would have been together today. I don't know if we would have been able to heal that relationship. So go do the hard things. Go do those things that suck. Figure out where you have regrets in your life, the things that you wish you hadn't done, and make them right. And it's going to suck for the short term. But in the long term, your relationships are going to be a lot better. And you are going to be a much better person because of it. 